I'm sitting here enjoying this stove. Got a nice fire going. Boy, there's a whole science to down drafts, up drafts, cross drafts, ventilation. Oh my goodness. I smell like I've been sitting around an outdoor campfire, but I think I've, I've kind of figured it out. <clears throat> I wanna say these things, I wouldn't trust them. Um, under high winds, uh, going to sleep while it's going um, without obviously carbon monoxide, smoke alarms, all of the above. Um, I, it could be very dangerous. Um, but all in all, um, if you learn, I'm, I'm learning the science of building a fire, burning a fire. Uh, again, those down drafts, those updrafts, those cross drafts, ventilation. I'm just a newbie, but it's, it's things you must, they are things you must learn. So sitting here listening to bluegrass mu music. Um, you know, I, I hated bluegrass all of my life and I don't know why I did. I think because, um, yeah, I think I had my nose turned up. I, I grew up in a very um, cultured church that turned their nose up at all music styles if it wasn't exactly what you know what they liked and <clears throat> when I became an adult and I traveled on the road I would I would listen to radio stations and I would listen to this certain when I was out in the Midwest I found this old bluegrass grass station and it just kept me company for hours but I would hear songs and I remember the words to them and I thought how do I know the words to these songs and then I realized those were the songs that my mother who was born in Georgia in 1936 during the Great Depression and I remember her telling me that her mom used to travel around and sing and we come from a musical, there would be people here and there in our family that were talented musically, but when she said that, and then she would sing songs to me as a baby and as a toddler and as a child, and they were, I called them hillbilly songs. That's what I thought they were. I thought they were old hillbilly songs, um, mountain music, and I never heard the words again till I listened to that station. And it was, I remembered that those were the songs that my mother sang to me when I was just a child. And uh, it just, now that mom is gone, COVID took her in 2020. When I listen to bluegrass, it's like having my mom with me. And um, those songs, they're just, First of all, I love stringed instruments. I love the banjo, banjo, the mandolin. I just love hearing common people sing. People from the hills, people from the mountains, from the valleys, people who work the land, people who mined the coal mines, people who work for a living and loved and lived and died and and those are the songs my mama taught me what a wonderful american heritage i have and uh so i'm gonna go back to that listening to that music and thinking about my mom i love me some bluegrass gospel too um i love some blues and uh i'm not ashamed of it it's a wonderful kind of music uh you should you should try it get some of it have a wonderful evening, folks. May God bless you, and may God bless America.